Okay guys, what up? It's Brian Easy back here today. I'm coming at you today with a tutorial on how to update your BIOS. So, this is what you're going to need guys. You're going to need a USB stick. So, get your USB stick. It can be any size really. It doesn't have to be 4 gigabytes like I'm using. Plug that into your computer. Now, I want you to make sure it is a FAT32 first. So, go to computer, right click on properties. And mine already is a FAT32, so it's a FAT32, and if it's not, you can format it to be a FAT32. So by right-clicking on, right-clicking on the device and clicking format. So now, after we've done that, we made sure it's FAT32. We are going to go to ASRock's website, and I'll put this link. If you've got an Extreme Four like me, I'll put this link in the description below. But make sure you get your one suit to your motherboard. And we've got the latest version here. We want to do, we've got Instant Flash, DOS, and Windows. So we want to do Instant Flash, which flashes from the BIOS. It's the most stable, guys. It's the most simple. And it's not going to, like, generally it shouldn't brick your computer if you follow a few hints. So save as, save as anywhere. Save it anywhere you want to. And then once it's finished downloading, I want you to open that file. Extract it to your USB disk. Okay? finished, extracted, okay, so that's finished now, so we've got it, instant flash, we've downloaded that, we've got it on our USB disk, and we are ready to rock and roll now, so now before you do this guys, if there is no problems with your computer, then I don't recommend um, updating BIOS, because there is always a chance that you can brick your computer, now I've, I've tested this already, so what you want to do is before you update your BIOS, you want to set all your settings back to auto, so, load UFI defaults, save changes and exit. So you want to, you know, cancel all your overclocks and all that because there is still a minute chance that you can brick your BIOS. So you don't want any, you don't want to run any risks. So basically you want to overvolt a little bit. Now we go to advanced in an ASRock motherboard. Instant flash. And now it's come up with our BIOS. So we want to click on it. And it's basically, it'll update your BIOS now. So, processing crashless feature. So, ASRock's, uh, ASRock's flash utility is extremely easy to use. Uh, little, see, my little baby's getting excited about it too. It's like you're updating the BIOS, that's great. Now, just, yeah, so you let it go, you run it from the BIOS, you want to update the instant flash. You don't want to do the Windows version or the DOS version as... This version is probably the most, you know, solid. So, you want to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, my baby's getting a little bit anxious, so I hope this hurry up so I can go and help him out. But yeah, guys, this is, um... Ooh. Yeah. So once this is finished, you update your bus. So if you've got any questions, guys, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to keep the brain easy going. But yeah, that's the most easiest way to update your bus. It takes two minutes... And you want to make sure you've got stock clocks. So you want to make sure you're running stock clocks. And you've got... Can you grab little B, man? Come, little B. You want to watch Daddy update the boss? Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. He approves, guys. Boss update? Yeah. That's right. So he's going to say, yep. That's a BIOS update. And guys, yep. So that's how you update your boss. And... Uh, make sure, yeah, so make sure you cancel your overclocks, like you set everything back to normal settings and it's running, you know, solid before you update your BIOS. And that's it, guys. That's It's pretty easy to update your BIOS. Uh, I, you know, honestly, yeah, I don't recommend updating your BIOS unless you absolutely have to because, you know, there is always a chance that you can break your BIOS. And if you do that, then ASRock will not adhere to the warranty. They will say, no, your motherboard's bricked. Sorry, uh, we can't help you. So you're out of pocket 150 bucks or whatever you paid for for your for your ASRock motherboard. So yeah, anyway guys, we boot into Windows, everything's fine. I've noticed no difference between this BIOS and the last. So but hope this guy I hope this helped you guys. So um, if you yeah, sorry, if you got any questions please mail me. Yeah, hope this helped guys. So Brian Easy, peace out.